Hello lads and welcome to another episode of Sunderland's Resurgence. Uh, I've actually cut this a bit shorter than I thought I would. Um, I was going to start the Villa game but we might have time for two games I reckon. But we've got something first that we might want to discuss and it is contract renewal talks. If you watched the series last season you'd know that I've had a bit of a... A strange situation as far as my contract's concerned. We've had a bit of a uh, dodgy situation. Look go on my manager. I'll tell you what it is once again. Uh, if I can find myself, there it is. My contract is on the manager. 20k a week. It's not bad. You know, I can't complain really. But um, we haven't got like a, a contract date when it runs out. It was meant to only last a year. But then I, I just stayed on as manager. So somehow now we've got the... Uh, Talks. I want to try and trace this transfer budget though. Like that's silly. <laughs> 105. To be fair, it's better than what I had previously. But I'd ideally want a bit more. We're we'll going the club finances. You know, overall balance 20 million. We've made 26 million pounds profit this season. I'd ideally want some of that in the transfer budget. But you know what this game's like. It's realistic, and uh, that's probably more than we've got to spend in January in real life. So. Uh, we will discuss the current vision and see what they say. I'd like to talk about a club's transfer budget. And uh, I'd like to see the transfer budget increased. Um, and I'd also probably want to increase something else. Let's have a look. Request I'd like to make to the board. Um, I'm thinking I'd like to do something else as well. Maybe an affiliation with a club to send players out on loan to. I think that might be decent. Or an overseas. We've already got an overseas partner, if I'm not mistaken. I think we've got uh, a partnership with um, DC United. If that's what they're called. Could be wrong. Yeah, I think so. Like DC or some, some Washington team in America. Um, and we've got, yeah. So maybe an affiliation with a club. And, uh, alright, they don't. That's fine. I'm probably going to... I don't have any other changes to propose. Right, so they're not allowing anything. <laughs> they're not allowing anything for us to uh, to deal with here. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to... I'm not going to end the contract talks, aren't I? I have to. They've offered us a new contract. I don't need, like, I'm happy to take just that much, you know what I mean? And then, like, another deal. Like, I, I don't want much wages if, it, you know, I don't want them to be spending the wages on me instead of, <laughs> instead of the club. So, you know, if we decrease that there, then maybe it'll go somewhere else in the club. You can only hope. But, um, relegation wage drop, I'm happy to have that as high as possible. Top division promotion pay rise, low as possible as well. Suggest so the terms. Four year deal for Joe Hay. I'm here for another four years at least. But as well as that, I've just realised that uh, it's pretty easy now for them to terminate my contract because I'm not on that much a week. I didn't really think that one through, but um, I'm hoping that uh, my results on the pitch can keep us in the job anyway. So there he is, Joe Hay, 37 year old manager in this game. Um, and I am here for the long run. After two results, which I'm not very happy with, I'm going to go through them now. Um, since we played Blackburn, we've gone through two results, Nottingham Forest and Cardiff. I'm probably still not playing this game against Derby. I'll probably just show you the result at the end of it, just to keep this episode pretty short, because I have now made it pretty long with that uh, introduction. But Derby... Play a derby, see what happens, and then you know I'll play this game against Aston Villa at Villa Park live. First, first game after the new contract, two-one loss, which ended up with Donald Love at centre half. You've got another four years of this. So this is the lineup we've got at the moment. Um, we are changing it slightly. We're having a bit of a deep line playmaker in there. We're controlling the game a bit more against this Villa side, who are very defensive, according to my scout report. 
We've got uh, Jones and Donald Love on the wings. Adam Matthews can actually come back there. I think uh, Donald Love has been playing the best. You can see there he's on a 6.8. Billy Jones is actually on a 7.24 with his, so I'm actually going to keep Matthews on the right. Uh, we've got McNair and Embleton, the two. Um, we've got McNair as a bit of a playmaker, and Embleton win the ball high up the pitch. That's the plan, a bit of energy there. Uh, we've got Wabi Kazri and Duncan Watmore on either flank with Lyndon Gooch just behind James Bourne. Ideally, I'd like to use the pace of Lyndon Gooch to try and get at that back too, uh, especially John Terry, who's, you know, he doesn't seem to be wanting to play really. He's been uh, not good this season. He signed a new contract obviously last season and uh, just hasn't done well. So here's the team. It doesn't look bad at all, really, on uh, paper. You've got Jonathan Kodji, you've got Albert Dorma, but we've been all right in this championship this season. Um, Hurahan, they've got loads of players that they had. In fact, I can't see a player which they didn't have already. I can't see any new signings. Maybe, maybe that's contributed. I'm not sure. It gives it to McNair on the halfway line. Matthews, what more? Gooch, Vaughan. Adam Matthews looking to whip the cross in. He does. He's gone to Gooch and it's tripled over the line. And it must be an own goal because. Uh, it's the one the one who's celebrating is Matthews, so James Chester on goal it turns out. And it just trickled over the line, caught the keeper off guard. And um, yeah, we were a bit fortunate with that one. He must have gone off the back of him or something. And uh, Gooch was there at the far post anyway, so if he hadn't, I would presume Gooch would have knocked that in. But Villa, who haven't had a shot yet, are now down 1-0. Villa had the first shot of the game, we've up the corner and John Perry heads away, Jonathan Codger wins it back but Elliot Embleton gets the tack and it's headed in, but it's shot by James Vaughan off the post and Kazri's ripped in the rebound, it's a good start from us, we've been dominating the early stages away from home and uh, we can't complain with the way we've performed that from a set piece this time, eventually reaching uh, what more to Vaughan, that was unlucky not to go in, but uh, Wabi Kazri made sure he was able to put it in on the rebound. Firm control as we head into half time, and I'm um, saying, you know, first half means nothing. We don't keep it going in the second half. Keep this going, and you should be fine there. There's a lot more to come from you. I believe you've got what it takes. Here we go, second half. Can we have a win, please? <laughs> Embleton, Gooch, Kazri Vaughan. He's had a few efforts like that. He's not really hit the target with any of them, but uh, look at that 25 shots. That's not bad at all. But uh, Wilson was aware of the danger there. Another ball's whipped in. Codger lets it bounce and then it's probably just took it away from the goal a bit too much as I'm going to make a couple of tactical changes here. Right, last 10 minutes, Robin Reuters whipped the ball long forwards and uh, no one's really reached it. But we've got it back through McNair. He gives it back to Coney who plays it to Rodwell now. He's experiencing himself at centre half. McGeady looks for the overlap. McNair, can you please find Matthews? Thank you. Right, now we've got a chance as Adam Matthews looks to whip in across. James Vaughan, Bree, that's a hell of a hit. I think on the volley from Embleton outside the box, that's that's a hell of a hit. Uh, what, 18, 19 at this moment in time? And um, nah, he took it on like a well-experienced you know, centre midfielder. Class strike, let's have a look at this in 3D. Headed down by Bree, and on the volley, just struck low into the corner. Elliot Embleton take a bow. Right, this might be the last highlight we've got here. Uh, Narson shoots and oh, <laughs> the keeper didn't even move there. He's hit that with some sort of power. And uh, it was well into the corner as well. So Aston Villa have got a consolation goal here. There's, no, there's going to be no comeback. But there better not be. But uh, yeah, <laughs> Robin Wright can do nothing about that. He wouldn't have saved it anyway. Finished. 3 1, it's finished. And uh, I mean, you look at the stats there, you can't say it was a convincing. You can't say it wasn't a convincing victory. Yeah, we helped it a bit by the own goal, but uh, we did take control firmly. Let's have a look at that Emble and strike again. Um, as we talk about this result, it's a good result for us. I think the team talk obviously worked, and uh, we finally got a good result in the first time in ages. That'll put us probably back in the playoffs because we did drop out before this game. But uh, yeah, a convincing victory at Villa Park, which we haven't had many of over the years. But uh, yeah, an absolutely fantastic result to uh, cap off this episode. And so it turns out it does put us back in the playoffs. We're now in fifth place, only one point behind Blackburn and seventh, who have continued their great rise from the third division. They've really done well. 
to uh, get to where they are in this early stage of the season. They've also got a game to play, so um, you could see the likes of Hull and Blackburn get into those playoff places by the time we play Hull. Uh, so that will actually be a massive game as well, but uh, obviously it's the next game, so I'm not going to play that one. Instead, I'll probably play this game against Norwich, so we'll have four games in between, and then we'll play this game at the end of October against Norwich. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed this one, a lot of news happening in this one. We have got a new contract at the club, and you should see now, there we go. It does say the year we are contracted until. So, you know, some positive news at least on this uh, series you don't often see other things behind the scenes which you probably should i should probably add a bit more of that but there's not been much happening so i'd like to thank you all once again for watching stay tuned and see how we do in the next episode i'll see you later lads